And now, a question for the philosopher Chicken. The United Nations recently authorized a no-fly zone in Libya. The United States, Britain, France, and other European countries, and some Arab countries have joined the fray. Now, Libya has not attacked anyone outside of its sovereign borders. What is going on here is a civil war. And recently, other countries in the region have been faced with similar civil unrest. Egypt and Tunisia seem to have settled their disputes fairly peacefully. But Yemen and Bahrain are currently in the process of attacking their civilian protesters. I wonder why the United States and the United Nations have not decided to intervene in these situations. I also wonder if action will be taken when Saudi Arabia's people start protesting, and perhaps Tibet's, China's, or even Iran's. Come to think of it, we already took no action when Iran was putting down its recent protests. Add to that, of course, there is always some tyrant killing his people somewhere in Africa. But no action there either. Getting back to Libya, where does the United Nations get off by violating any country's sovereignty? And where is the liberal media who dumped on Bush's actions in Iraq and Afghanistan when there was actually a perceived threat against the United States, but appear to be completely compliant in this blatantly illegal activity? It must have had something to do with the fact that their liberal president, Obama, is all for it. Do you have any thoughts on this? I sure do. We've got absolutely no business messing around in somebody else's civil war. Even if Gaddafi is a complete jerk, it's none of our business. This whole thing sets a real nasty precedent. I can't wait until the UN sets a no-fly zone for us between Los Angeles and New York. We'd probably be dumb enough to take part in it.